Good boy. Getting the auto sit now. Oh, he's actually going to lay down because I've been asking him to lay down a, a ton. Oh. No, he sat back up. And that's okay. I don't expect him to lay down. I do expect at least to sit. Um, but I've been asking him to lay down so much lately. Uh, and rewarding it so much that now he automatically will just lay down sometimes, which is fine. I don't mind that either. Heal. Good. So his walk is a million times improved. And we just started walking, working on the walk really today. So very cool. Yes, good boy. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Very good. Down. Good. All the way. I got the pressure on the e-collar. No. Down. Good. No. Okay, so now he's having a little bit of a hard time. I'm actually going to turn this down. I think it might be a little bit high. He's pretty sensitive. Down. See if that helps. Yeah. See. So sometimes the problem isn't that you're too low. Sometimes the problem is that you're too high. No. Down. Pressure's on the e-collar. Down. If he doesn't go down, I'll use leash guidance like this. Give him some help. Heal. And he's done really well with his downs on this trip. That's the first time he kind of struggled. So, but that's why you don't stop practicing something just because your dog does it well a few times in a row. It's like that doesn't actually indicate that they're fluent at it. You want to keep rehearsing it. Go, boy. Heal. Good job, let's go. Heel. So he's too far away. There we go. So that was e-collar pressure and leash guidance. Heel. Pull him over. Go, boy. Good. Heel. So he's kind of resisting. I'm going to turn the pressure up on the e-collar a little bit. See if that makes a difference. So as I go over here, I'm going to take a step away from him. Heel. Yeah, that was better. Good. So I'm teaching him when he's away from me, it turns on. And it shuts off when he comes back over here by my leg. Heel. Yes, good boy. That was much better. Good job, buddy. Oh, good boy. Good boy. 